All right, so this video is about probability tables. But before I get into probability tables, I really want you to look at this uh, Venn diagram really quickly. All right, so circle, circle. I've kind of gone off the page there. Uh, now, if this is set A and this is set B, and then we can sort of start looking at what all of our component parts are. I'll start from the middle, and I'll say that this section in right in there is the probability of a uh, and say intersection the probability of B uh, okay so that's like an upside down U there now let's look at uh, this section here okay that's the probability of A and the probability of not B and the probability of not B So this video is about probability tables, but before we talk about what a probability table is, I want you to look at this uh, Venn diagram. Whoops, kind of gone off the page there a little bit. A circle, a circle. Okay, there's my Venn diagram. Uh, this is set A, and this is set B. Now, if I work from the middle, this middle section here are people that do are in set A, or the probability that set A happens, and the probability that set B happens. And we can use our set notation to do that. A, intersection B, A, and B. Alright, this bit here, a lot of people would be tempted to say that it's just the probability of A. But that's not true, because this whole circle is the probability of A. This is the probability of A and not B. What that means is the probability uh, that A happens and B doesn't. And similarly, this bit here is the probability that B happens and, oops, and A doesn't. That's the intersection sign, not the letter A. Okay, so these little dashes are the didn't happen, not happen, whatever. Finally, this thing on the outside is the probability of... A not happening and B not happening. Alright, so there is a Venn diagram. We've probably never seen it quite that way before, but that's what it means. A and B, A and not B, B and not A, and not A and not B. We can do this in a different way using a probability table. So, this is a probability table. And the way that it works is, this is the probability of A happening, this is the probability of A not happening, this is the probability of B happening, this is the probability of B not happening. Alright, so, this is the probability of A um, intersection B, A, B. This is the probability of A intersection not B. This is the probability of not A intersection B, and this is the probability of not A uh, or not B. Now, if you look here and you look here, you can match all four of them up with this. Uh, now, given that you know the addition rule of probability, we can move along here and we can say that uh, the probability of A intersection B, the probability of A intersection not B, this here is the probability of just A happening, because if we add those two together, A and B, A and not B, uh, we'll end up with just A. Here, this is the probability of not A. Here, this is the probability of B, and here, this is the probability of not B. And finally, if we take the probability of B and not B, and the probability of A and not A, the probability of that happening is 1, and the probability of that happening is, is 1. Either B happens or it doesn't happen, either A happens or it doesn't happen. 1. This is a full uh, probability table. I should probably neaten it up by putting PR, 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 PR everywhere. Well, I think I made it less neat rather than more neat, but you get the idea. Uh, let's now that we've got a probability table. Let's just like do a question with it, maybe. 
So here's my example. Uh, if the probability of A is 0 0.7 and the probability of A intersection B is uh, 0 0.4 and the probability of not A intersection B is 0 0.2, find all of these things. Now before I get into the find all of these things, all I'm going to do is, is fill in this table. So I'm going to just erase all of my stuff that's filled in, I guess, and then put in what I know. Actually, let's, uh, let's erase it as we go. So first off, I know the probability of A is 0 0.7. So the probability of A is this bit down here. So I can say that the probability of that is 0 0.7. And it says the probability of A intersection B is 0 0.4, that's there. Is uh, 0 0.4. And it says that the probability of A, in, uh, not A, intersection B is 0 0.2. Okay, and now it's kind of like a Sudoku puzzle, I guess. If the probability of B of A and B happening is 0 0.4, and the probability of not A and B happening is uh, 0 0.2, then the probability of B happening at all is just uh, 0 0.6. Right, just adding them up. Uh, if the probability of zero of A you, uh, intersection B is 0 0.4, and the probability of A happening at all is 0 0.7, then the probability of A and not B happening must be this number minus this number, which is 0 0.3. Um, now, all of my probabilities will add up to 1, because something has to happen. So in a quick shot, I can say that this this not B happening is the probability of 1 minus the probability of B, 0 0.4. And the probability of A not happening is 1 minus 0 0.7, which is 0 0.3, which leaves us with this bit. And if we've done everything correctly, 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2 should be 0 0.1, and 0 0.4 minus 0 0.3 should be 0 0.1. And there is our, like, completed probability table. Now that I've completed my probability table, step back over here, the probability of A intersection not B, A not B, is 0 0.3. Uh, the probability of B is 0 0.6. The probability of not A and not B, not A and not B, is 0 0.1. And the only question from our list of four that you can't get directly from our probability table is this one here, A union B. That's A or B. But thankfully you already know the addition rule which says that the probability of a or B is going to be equal to the probability the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. And the table can show us all of that. Uh, the probability of A is 0 0.7, the probability of B is 0 0.6, and the probability of uh, A intersection B is 0 0.4 which is um, 1.3, uh, 0.9. Okay, um, that's it. So this is just another way of doing things. You, you'll often find this much, much easier than using a Venn diagram. If you try to do this question with a Venn diagram, you definitely sort of tie yourself in knots. Probability tables.